Hey there everybody, it's Sadie and it's finally time for the 2020 invention reveal. So let's go back to July 2019 when I had a major surgery on my left knee. For a long time my left knee faced inward instead of outward like it should and it messed up my gait and made it harder to walk and I had pain and all these other issues so I had to have a surgery called an osteotomy to fix it. Now this seems great, right? I've just had the surgery, my knee's gonna face right, but there's one thing about osteotomies that people sometimes seem to forget. Both before and after a major surgery, a lot of PT or physical therapy is needed. So much. Before, I had it for months and months and months before the surgery to make my muscles strong so they wouldn't atrophy while I was in recovery. And then after, twice a week, school, outpatient, all the time. PT was constant. What if there was a way where I could always be in the right posture so I would always be building my walking muscles? To start, I had to do a lot of research and I had to talk to a lot of people. Physical therapists, physical therapist assistants, head surgeons, physician's assistants, kids with CP, adults with CP, families of people with CP, parents, lots and lots of people. After that research, I had my idea. I wanted to make a device that could help kids with CP with their posture all the time. So I know you guys are anxious, so without further ado, this year's invention is the ATOM. It's spelled A-T-O-M, which is an acronym for the Automatic Therapy Orthopedic Machine. ATOM is actually several small pods that can be Velcro connected to your body that vibrate after you move into the wrong posture position. The Atom also has lights that light up when you turn them on and when you get in the wrong position and it starts to vibrate. And on top of that, they're fully calibratable and they can be put anywhere on your body, hips, pelvis, shoulders, chest, anywhere. Now the internals of the Atom are pretty complicated. We had to make a PCB or printable circuit board and we had to load it up with all sorts of internals. To make the PCB, we use something called copper clad and ferric chloride, an acid that corrodes away copper. Here's a picture of what a fully completed and loaded PCB looks like. And now, a representation of the circuit, performed by chocolate chips. From the battery, the chocolate, or electricity, travels to the power switch. Next on my circuit, I wanted to have an LED to show that the power is on. What I discovered trying that is, when I kept trying to connect the LED directly from the power switch, the LEDs kept burning out and popping. I discovered that LEDs only need a certain amount, or a limited amount, of chocolate, or electricity, to go to them. So I used something called a resistor. A resistor resists the amount of chocolate that can go through to the LED, making it the perfect voltage amount. After that, my LED finally worked. This meant that everything was connected and made a circle, or a circuit. After that power circuit, I needed to make my tilt circuit with the buzzing and the light that would happen when I would tilt too far forward or too far back. So I started with my vibrating motor. But I couldn't just connect the vibrating motor to the rest of my circuit because I needed it to only be on when I was doing the wrong type of posture. In order to make it that the vibrator would only be on when I had bad posture, I had to add a mercury tilt switch, which would only turn on and make the vibrator buzz when I tilted and had the wrong posture. From there, I did have a complete circuit, but I wanted to add an LED to that circuit. But as you know, if you connect an LED straight to a circuit without a resistor, it's going to pop and surge and go out. So we had to add another resistor to add just the right amount of voltage, or chocolate chips, to our LED. And then we got to eat all the chocolate chips at the end. Thanks again to everybody for watching, and thanks to everyone who helped me with this project. And I really hope you enjoyed the Atom this year. I had a lot of fun making it, and I hope you had a lot of fun learning about it with me.